For thousands of years, the sword was the weapon of choice in almost all the world's wars. And for nearly that long, countries like England and France have engaged in fencing. Despite this tradition, however, the sport is thriving at the Halberstadt Fencing Club in San Francisco's Mission District. For fencers here, who range from teenagers to seniors, the sport combines refined technique with harnessing the human instinct for combat. It's emotional when you get hit, you know. You are, um, you're actually f fighting against someone and, and so you have to be able to control your emotions. You have to want to win, otherwise the other person will take charge. Fencers have to do thousands of repetitions of actions to uh, get their muscle memory going so that when they need an action, when they need a response, it's right there for them. What's most important for a good fencer is a, a tactical mind, uh, a mind that likes to set up a plan and um, deceive the other person in the planning. It really is based on you being able to lie. And it sounds trite and it sounds canned, but it is uh, a magical sort of feeling, and that's why I do it.